I want to bring in April Jackson, who is Diamond and Tionda Bradley's aunt, and then also Shalia Bradley-Smith, who is their great aunt. Uh, thank you to both of you for joining me on the program tonight. Shalia, let me just ask you about the, the 15 times prior that women have come out of the woodwork saying that they were either Diamond or Tionda, and they just weren't. How did you emotionally process that? Well, actually, it's you can't emotionally process it. You just have to deal with it. And to uh, clear the record, there's been 16. It was one just last week. Oh, um, there's been a new one first. since. It just uh, yes. unbelievable. And now, this one um, in Texas, this woman seems quite promising. April, other than the scar on the forehead that's in the same place as Diamond Scar, what makes you and the family members feel like this is different? This really could be something. Well, it, it really is different because this young lady actually wants to know who she are, who she is. And not only that, she actually really wanted to go by herself to find out who she was. And she went by herself with, along with another friend to go give that DNA test. So that was different for us versus the FBI making someone else's um, go and get their fingerprint and DNA taken. And Shalia, they, they, there's something else. Like Tracy, the, the girl's mom, went to Texas to try to connect with this woman. Can you tell me what happened um, when she got there and why intuitively it seems as though it's not a good thing, but it might actually be a good thing, the reaction of this young woman to, to Tracy coming to see her? Well, actually, Tracy was uh, taken down and uh, April did accompany her there. Um, at the time, I wasn't aware that April was with her because Tracy does need support, um, you know, from a family member when she's, you know, on a quest like that. But that was a quest that I was unaware of. Then I find that uh, they had went down there to attempt to meet with uh, Raylan and her friend. And um, I was contacted by Raylan and her friend, and they felt uncomfortable with meeting with Tracy because they preferred to have just wait, waited until the DNA returned. Uh, but unfortunately, um, I believe that that may have been a part of that production to encourage Tracy to go down there. But um, I disagreed and I did ask the girls not to meet with them uh, because, you know, when you have, I mean, I don't have missing children, I have missing nieces. And Tracy is my niece and I'm going to do whatever it takes to protect my family unless I'm sure about every step along the way. And I didn't see any need in meeting this girl as well when the girl had submitted DNA mm. tests. You know, um, let that come back because that could only put false hope in Tracy uh, trying to meet this girl, believing that it may be her. I mean, she just doesn't need that type of emotional damage. Well, listen, the, the fact that she's given her DNA to the FBI, it's, uh, it, it's, it's very interesting. And I know there's a bit of a wait. And I do know that the, the investigation discovery program this um, Sunday night is going to reveal something large they haven't said so far. I also want to tell our audience as well that, that Ray Lynn, the, the girl you're talking about, um, has had a very difficult life. She has talked about being uh, held against her will, given steroids, uh, trafficked in sex. I mean, it's just been a very difficult, difficult life. I'm going to follow this and we're going to call you just to see if there's any... Um, match that comes up between the woman in Texas and um, and your family member. Thank you both, um, Shalia and uh, and April, for being on tonight. And and I wish you the best of luck in finding at least Diamond and maybe Tionda too. And thank you thank for you. having us. And if anyone has any information about this, call your local FBI. They can certainly put you in touch with the right people. And there you go. 1-800-THE-LOST is also a great uh, possibility. Um, they've got the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children uh, is incredible in terms of being able to piece together information nationally. So do that. Do that right away. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.